Hello everyone, hello everybody out there, welcome to my YouTube channel, welcome to my another video about all speaking cue card question. In this video I'm answering another question, part your question of all speaking and I prepared a sample answer by myself. Before we dive into the video and answer to the question, let me quickly show you my all certificate as a proof of my current English level. Uh, I am Gulora Muzaffarova, an English teacher from Uzbekistan and uh, I took my last exam almost two years ago. Yes, I showed it several times before, but for those who are new to my channel, uh, as a proof, here is my IELTS certificate. My listening score was 9 and reading also was 9. Writing I got 7.5, my speaking score was 8 and my overall band score is 8.5 which equals to CFR level C2. So this is my certificate, as you see everything is real here. Okay, let's go back to our presentation. Here our question, describe an interesting article on health that you read from a magazine or online. This is a very interesting question indeed and we have four sub-questions. Our sub-questions what the article was, when and where you read it, and what you learned from the article. And finally, you need to explain why you think it's a good or bad article. You know that you're given one minute to prepare and you need to take advantage of this time and make a quick plan for your answer. So these are my notes for my speech. I made a quick plan of uh, my answer for part two question. So I'm going to talk about an article about healthy diet and I read it on the website about lifestyles. Yeah, I learned about healthy and unhealthy foods and habits and um, it was very useful to maintain a good health. So in general, I'm going to talk about these four points in my speech. This is a script of my speech. I've already um, recorded my voice and uh, wrote down the script for you. Now, at the same time, you can listen to my speech and read um, a script of my speech. Well, I'm not a health freak, but I have an interest in health and health related issues. Thus, I often read books and articles and watch videos on YouTube about health and the one which impressed me greatly was on the internet and published on a website about lifestyles. Um, I was surfing the net and found a link to the article. The title was very catchy. You are what you eat. The title was and it immediately attracted my attention. If the article had been written in a scientific language, Probably it wouldn't have interested me, but that one was written in a straightforward language, which was easy to follow. It was said in the article that your body is a house and you live in this house all your life. If you don't take good care of it, it will soon become old and unfit for your living and won't serve you long. Thus, it's essential to look after this house and maintain it well. If you want this house to look good and be pleasant to live in, you need to watch, watch what you are eating. This metaphor was very effective to get the sense of the article and I learned that the breakfast is the main part of daily food intake and it should be nutritious and large. Since then, I try not to skip breakfast and I usually have warm meals in the morning like a porridge, pancakes or eggs. Lunch is also important for me. I usually have a hearty lunch at a certain time of the day because I learned that in the morning my metabolism works much faster in the morning and afternoon than in the evening. For, for dinner, a light meal will suffice me. Overall, this article taught me, that, taught me to listen to my body, learn its biological clock and give it what it wants. So this is the end of my speech. Now we'll discuss words and expressions in Roma aspects of my speech. As you can see, uh, words which are highlighted in red, these are the words which I'm gonna explain in the video and the grammar aspects I highlighted in blue color. Okay, let's, let's start with words and expressions used in the speech. One of the first words which I used was freak. Freak, it's an informal word and it is somebody who's ex extremely interested in a particular subject or activity. For example, a health freak is somebody who is really um, curious about his health, very interested in learning about health, or a computer freak, or surf freak, etc. Another word which I used in my speech was surfing. 
Uh, yes, there are other meanings of surfing also, but the meaning which I used in my speech was to spend time visiting a lot of websites. Example, many towns and cities have cyber cafes where you, you can surf the internet, the net or web. So surfing the internet means visiting a lot of websites and spending a, a lot of time on these. And um, the word which I used to describe the article was catchy. Catchy means pleasing and easy to remember. For example, a catchy name, catchy slogan. It's usually used about tunes or songs, catchy song, for example. Another expression, another adjective was straightforward. And straightforward means easy to understand, easy to understand, and it's simple. For example, just follow the signs to write forward. It's very straightforward. So I used this word about an article. It was really straightforward, easy to understand. Other words, unfit. Unfit, it means not suitable or healthy, not fit. Example, the building was declared unfit for human habitation. So not suitable. Uh, maintain, this is another verb which you can use about your health to describe health issues for example to keep a road machine building or your health etc in good condition for example a large house costs us a lot to maintain or to maintain a healthy lifestyle can be to maintain your health can be it means to keep it in good condition a sense this is a noun and it means the basic and most important idea or quality of something example the sense of his argument was that education should continue throughout life. So a sense, it means the most important idea of something. The sense of the article, it means the most important idea of the article. Intake, this is another word which can be used uh, while talking about health. And it means the, the amount of a particular substance which is eaten or drunk during a particular time. Uh, for example, food intake, it means uh, how much food you consume on a regular basis. Example, it says on the packet that four slices of this bread contains one half of your recommended daily intake of fiber. So intake, it means consume, consumption of something, especially foods and drinks uh, on a regular basis during a particular time. Other words and expressions which can be used to describe health. Nutritious, nutritious it means containing many of the substances needed for life and growth, like full of vitamins. Example, raw spinach is especially nutritious, like rich in vitamins. Hearty, this word can be used to describe meals, foods, it means large or in large amounts. For example, we ate a hearty breakfast before we set off. So it means we had a large breakfast before we started our journey. Another word to describe um, your health, this is metabolism. And metabolism, it is a specialized word, it's a term. And it means the, all the chemical processes in your body, especially those that cause food to be used for energy and growth. Like your body starts to use food intake for energy and growth like when you have a high metabolism rate you digest foods very quickly and you feel very energetic so example exercise is supposed to speed up your metabolism yes and uh, another verb which i use it is a suffice suffice is a formal word and it means to be enough so, so the word sufficient comes from the word suffice example I'm taking 400 pounds worth of traveler's checks and I think that should suffice. So these are all the words and expressions which I was going to explain. Besides that, I'm, I'm going to explain one grammar feature used in the speech. This is third conditional. Example, which I used in my speech. If the article had been written in a scientific language, it wouldn't have interested me. So this sentence is written in third conditional and third conditional refers to unreal past actions. It means that it's hypothetical situation and it didn't happen so in reality. So the structure is if plus past perfect, would, have plus verb three. So one more example. If I had needed your help, I would have called you. So it means in reality, it's not true. It's only hypothetical. It means I didn't need your help and that's why I didn't call you. 
So if you use different grammar features in your speech, it really helps you to increase your score for the grammar part of the speaking criteria. So this was the end of my explanation. Thank you very much for watching it. Um, and if you like the video, please support me by subscribing to my channel. And please don't forget to hit the like button and the notification bell. Also, share the video with people who are studying for IELTS. Once again, thank you very much for watching it.